Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So, this video is talking about solar. Um, just trying to give you some information. This video is kind of long. It's like 30 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I probably repeated myself like 50 times on a bunch of stuff. Um, there will be a later video uh, letting you know what the company replies back to me with for a final price. Um what some of the conversions are how to convert stuff i'll do it on paper for y'all to watch and see so you have some idea how to do that um if you want to look into it for your own house um different things like that and and part of this too is i've been out of my house for a lot of this so i really don't know what my what my power bill is supposed to run what my actual kilowatt hours are uh you know your power bill shows you like the last 12 months but um the last 12 months i've been in hotels i've been here i've been there I've, um they've been in and out of the house working leaving the windows wide open when nobody was here heat pump running like crazy you know all that stuff so uh we're gonna see we're gonna work through this and uh see exactly where we need to go with it for the future and stuff and see if this is something i actually get or not but even if I don't get it, I'm able to bring this info to y'all, give y'all a starting point to start looking at this stuff. <clears throat> and also something to remember, as y'all know, the price of everything is rising. Um, and right now in my area, if I start solar, even if it's small, that locks me into the price I'm paying now for electricity. And they can't raise my rate anymore. So I stay at that price. So when they raise the rate next year or the year after for the electricity, I'm still there. I'm still at that one. So I'm going to show you all kind of like a whole complete grid setup or whatever. But really for, for like $2,000, you can have a setup um, getting some solar and, and a little bit of a knockoff on your bill probably not that much but it would have your rate locked in if you're in an area that that actually uh can be done um so i'm not saying this is all this is 100 percent for anybody i'm not saying anybody everybody loves it nobody likes it or whatever this is just me doing some research uh bringing it to y'all and seeing you know i might I've been thinking about it for about four or five years off and on. I've, I've spoke to a bunch of companies. I've had free quotes done at my house, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to start researching some videos that shows how to install this stuff and that kind of thing. If I'm going to need to get an electrician to come do it or if I can do a lot of the legwork myself, let them come in and check everything and then do the final hookup and and it's okay that way so um we'll see we'll see how it goes and i'll uh keep y'all informed while i'm going so y'all stick around watch this video let me know what you think in the comments tell me if it's something you're interested in not interested in um if you need some conversions and stuff done as we go on let me know i'll be glad to help you with those conversions to give you some idea how much solar you need for your house uh how much batteries you need for your house and so on and so forth so just putting it out here for y'all to help y'all really hope it helps Alright, so, the, the kind of the quote or whatever was sent to me, um, it's a complete off-grid solar kit, it's the EG4 6000 XP, it's 8000 watts PV input and 6000 watts output, 48 volts, 120, 240 volt split phase, and no solar panels. So this is just kind of a breakdown of what comes in the kit. A uh, gentleman was working with me and got a little bit of a quote and some information together for me. So I had some idea of 
of kind of what I was looking at and what was going on. Uh, so the kit includes uh, shipping from Texas, so it's free shipping, uh, lifetime customer support based in Texas via phone or email. It comes with this right here, which is the the actual kit itself. So, and this is going to be cut off a little bit here, but basically, uh, this is your kit. Um, this is the one I got quoted at ten thousand five hundred seventy-two dollars. We'll just say seventy-three. I mean, what's a penny at that point in life? Um, it comes with the panel here in the center and three EGR. I'm sorry, EG4 LL batteries. It comes with this panel here, which also comes with um, software that you can download to your phone and on your computer so you can monitor what's coming in, what's going out, what's being produced where, and what you're pulling from the grid and that kind of thing. Uh, solar panels are not necessarily included in this kit. It does come with the wire and stuff like that. So right here you can kind of pick what you want. Um, and they have other other things to pick from too. So if you click no panels, this price drops down to like 7647 I think. Something like that. Um, but this comes with 16 Canadian solar 400 watt um, panels. <clears throat> and comes with battery options, three EG4 LL lithium batteries. Um, it's 100 amp hour batteries. They are in server rack. Um, and this is the better of the two batteries. You do have the EG, EGR, uh, EG4 Life Power 4 lithium batteries you can choose from. Either one, they give them to you at the same price. The LL ones are, are a little bit better. Um, but again, it depends on what you're building and what you're trying to do. They give you a couple wire options here. 50 foot of 10, 10 gauge copper wire. Or 100 foot. Depending upon where you're trying to install your solar panels at. Um, from my understanding, and I'll get more clarification later. This right here is uh, what runs from your panel here to your solar panels uh, to be able to hook them up. Um, and you can scroll down here and see other options and, and things, a little bit more information and stuff on it and that kind of thing. Um, so I, I'll probably link some of this stuff later. I'm not going to do it in this video yet. Uh, some of the other stuff is going to be here. So this is your battery rack. It's a six slot battery lack, rack. comes on uh, wheels. So with that package the first half of the battery rack will be full and the second half uh, is still open for you to add more batteries and the batteries are about a thousand five hundred dollars a battery um, I'll have to give you some breakdown in a later video on exactly what to expect so this is a full rack and you can set up more racks and keep expanding um, but you can't really just say, well, one battery is going to last you four or five hours, you know, that kind of thing. It all depends upon what your usage is. Um, and you can pull your your electrical, you know, history uh, from whatever company you're with to kind of see what that is and uh, and how that goes. But that's that's the rack. It's 550 by itself. Uh, this is your panel right here. Um and as you come down here, you can see it's got breakers and, and everything else. Um, this is where it shows you five-year warranty, built-in switch gear, low idle consumption. Um, let's see, let's see. Here's where it talks about its uh, Wi-Fi. And this is what you can download on your phone to kind of show you that stuff and that kind of thing. And a bunch of other information down here uh, and that kind of thing. But if we go back to the actual quote here, um, so this is your battery rack, which is what I just pulled up and showed you. So I showed you first the actual kit. This is the battery rack that comes in uh, 11 foot of 10 gauge wire extension. Um, 
MC4 male and female connectors, two of those, DC disconnect roof type, uh, rooftop isolator switch. I'm not even sure if I need that. I'm not putting it on my roof. I'm putting it out in the back field. 84 inches of wood, alt, battery, two inverter cables. So the big panel is basically a, an inverter. Um, and it's 8,000 watts max input, 6,000 watts max output. So I was talking to the guy online. He says you can put more than 8,000 watts to the panel, but the panel will only convert 8,000, and you're not going to burn the panel up. So I got to doing some math and stuff like that and figured up how many panels I wanted for this uh, to be maxed out. So um, 20 panels of the 390-watt, which by by all definition are the cheapest um, but it's also the cheapest to get to what you need um, so we'll go to panels real quick uh, 450 watt panels are $210 a piece so if you buy 17 of them that's the closest to the 8000 watt input you can get without going over um, that's $3,570 the 400 watt are 185 a piece you can get 20 that's $3,700 uh, the 390 watt or 150 a piece, you can get 20 of those for $3,000. So you're looking at about $7,000 cheaper to buy more of the 390 watt panels than go with the higher wattage panels. Um, so I'm going 390 watt panels, 22 of them. Um, that puts me at about $3,080 uh, just for the panels. That does not cover my whole home. Okay, so I've had other people come in and quote me doing this and quote me doing that, and they're like, you know, sixty, seventy, and eighty thousand dollars off grid, whole home, taken care of, you know, all your power needs, whatever. And I got to looking and checking into it myself. So doing my conversions I'm probably looking at about 30,000 30 to 35,000 and I can hook it up myself it's it's super cheap so why am I gonna double that price to go with some big company with their products and some of their products I don't like and that kinda of thing and I've been playing with this off and on for like five years because I really didn't understand everything that I needed to understand So, of course, 22 panels at 390 watts, and and I always overdo stuff. Um, that's just me. So 390 watts times 22, that's got me producing 8,580 watts. Most of your panels are guaranteed for either 10 or 20 years to still be running 80% uh, efficient. So, if I lost we'll say 10% that would be wow my mind just quit like 80 uh, 80 watts of power so I'd still be producing 8,500 watts you know if I lost 20% then I'll be looking at 8,420 uh, watts something like that so I'm putting more in than the inverter will convert just for the pure fact that 20 years from now I will still have that that power inverter maxed if all of my panels are running at 80 percent so that extends the life or the length of time before I need to worry about replacing panels I would say most of your panels you're going to give you 20 most of them are rated at 80 percent at 20 years uh, so by throwing two extra panels on an extra 300 bucks in 20 years I'm still running a hundred percent into the inverter uh, instead of you know running less power into the inverter than what it will take and reducing you know my charge ratio to my batteries and the power to my house and all of that stuff so I think an extra three hundred dollars is worth it to guarantee that 20 years from now I'm still producing the same thing that I was producing before even though technically a little bit of it is wasted um, but 
so this package um, is 8,000 watts input so that's why that's how I come up with the 8,000 watts so if you need more than 8,000 watts for your house you now have to get another inverter and a whole nother setup um, they do make larger stuff I think the 8,000 watts is kind of one of the largest but I think you can stack up to like five or six of these together um, to run my whole house I would need three of the setups that I'm talking about so you know about thirty five thousand dollars this should cut about a third of my electric bill and I will eventually start adding more stuff to it as I go the first thing I'll do is add more batteries um, at least have a server rack full um, just so like running on my on my max electric one battery lasts me about an hour that's my worst day burning the most electricity possible so having three batteries gives me about three hours of power and that's if it goes down at like two or three o'clock in the afternoon when my batteries are completely charged the the grid turns off I've got three hours of battery life but I'm still producing solar so I've got the solar coming in and my batteries both that I'm running on as the sun goes down those batteries will start to discharge more and more and more until eventually I run out so you can't really say it's only going to last three hours if it went out at midnight and the batteries were fully charged I'd have three hours um, but that's if the heat pumps are running and the AC's running and you're cooking on the stove and you know what I'm saying so you know I'm probably looking at more like five six seven hours of battery life uh, probably enough to get me through the night uh, but not enough to leave me feeling comfortable for days on end so I'm gonna start with three batteries and I'll add to it that's assuming I do this just kind of talking it through with y'all at this point so midnight solar lightning surge arrestor there's a solar lightning surge arrestor again 600 DC 300 AC that's protecting your equipment to make sure you don't get a power surge and burn it up um, they give you the tools to do it yourself uh, 100 foot of 10 gauge copper wire again I'm running mine out in the field I'll probably need more like five or six hundred foot of uh, of wire so that's got to be adjusted and I just sent them an email telling them what I was looking at doing and that kind of thing so you can pick your batteries here uh, again this is the ones that I'm quoting this a 10 year life uh, seven thousand six hundred and forty six dollars for three of them uh, the five-year warranty is only six hundred dollars cheaper so if you can get double the, double the warranty and or life out of them an extra six hundred and ten dollars or twelve dollars uh, that's well worth it when you're talking about seven grand um, each battery it shows you the price of each battery this is the batteries and the rack uh, this is just the batteries um, about a thousand four hundred dollars a piece or a thousand six hundred so about two hundred dollars a battery difference between a five-year warranty and a ten-year warranty I'm gonna take that extra five years for two hundred dollars a piece all day long I'm gonna take it um, so this right here is kinda of your solar panels just get kinda of giving you a breakdown uh, peak sun hours and ev everything so estimated charge and this is the 400 watt uh, solar panels uh, for ten of them that's four thousand watts going in the max you can put in is eight thousand watts so uh, again if that's 4,000 watts I'd need 20 so you go down here to 20 that would be the 8,000 watts and you don't have to max it now you can build your solar panels later just start with something you know whatever you feel comfortable with whatever's in your budget and buy them later I mean they are $185 a piece you know each paycheck buy a solar panel run out there and plug it in it's not hard you know what I'm saying um, but if you're running 20 of them at 8,000 watts, which is the max, you're looking at $3,700 for those solar panels. <clears throat> now, like I said, 
I can do 22 of the 390 so if we run down here to the 390 and 15 is the best it shows but if we do 22 it's going to be double this that's 1,800 plus two more panels at 140 a piece so that's uh, 2,000 whatever you know what I'm saying it's, it's not that much so a little over two thousand dollars compared to three thousand seven hundred dollars that is a huge difference so shop around on your panels check your life of them check and see what's what um, I may have to buy more of these panels to get to that eight thousand max uh, watts but it's gonna be cheaper to buy more of these at hundred and forty dollars a piece than to buy less of these at hundred and eighty five dollars a piece um, that's just my math that's the way I look at stuff um, if I gotta take up a little bit more space I gotta take up a little more space it, it just is what it is um, so with this stuff you you do have the apps and stuff that you can look at and see um, yeah 390 20 of them 2800 um, the other was 400 at at 20 was 3,700. So that's a 900 dollar difference minus 130. So six, 130 for two more, 140 for two more. So you know, six thousand dollar difference buying the cheaper 930 watt. Um, for 22 of them which puts me over 8,000 um, as opposed to buying the 20 of the 400 that puts me right at 8,000 you know it's still $600 cheaper to buy the 390 watt um, but price of kit with battery so you're looking to higher battery so the kit seven thousand six hundred and forty six dollars and seventy five cent that comes with three batteries again based off your power usage you pull your your electric bill do some conversions and I'll do some videos on that um, and that tells you you know what you're using how much you're using per month so you take your monthly and, and the worst I have I think was like three thousand uh, 700 and something so I figured it at, at like 3,800 so if you take 3,800 kilowatt hours and it was in the month of December so that's 31 days so you divide that by 31 you know I'm using 122.58 kilowatt hours a day um, so now you would divide that by 24 and that gives you about what you use in 24 hours so I'm using 4.9 kilowatt hours an hour and that is absolutely my worst that's that's heat running wide open with the doors open in the middle of the winter you know I wasn't even in my house when I produced that electric bill I was living in a hotel and the people were working in my house with the windows and doors wide open and the heat pumps running um, so yeah um, so you just want to start with something to offset that electric bill so this setup is going to cost me about ten thousand seven hundred dollars plus tax and it's going to take away it should take away about a third of my electric bill so instead of having a three hundred dollar electric bill it'd be like a two hundred dollar electric bill yeah it's going to take a long time for it to pay for itself but at least if you do it small in stages it's not so bad um, so if you've got ten thousand dollars in savings and you want to get rid of a third of your electric bill you know this is a way to do it but that's if you're using electric like me when they were talking to me they're like I know industries that don't use that much electric I don't so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but apparently I'm doing something um, but normally summer summer is my worst electric you know I'm knocking down like four hundred dollar bills so I can get rid of what a hundred and about a hundred twenty five dollars of that um, so I can knock that 400 bill down to like $275 in the summer. Winter is normally my lowest electric. I'm normally like $150 to $200. So it'll take care of half of my electric then. So different times of the year is going to take care of different amounts. And once I get a system in place and get started, I can add a few more batteries for more security. Um, 
and then I can add a whole nother system and I don't have to buy it as a whole group I can just buy the panel the panels connect that's another 8,000 watts you're allowed to put in I don't have to buy more batteries if I don't want to if I just want the the benefit of solar during the day to reduce my power consumption then I've got it so with that said I can buy another one of these panels is a thousand four hundred dollars and then I can just tack on more solar panels you don't have to buy batteries you can just a whole lot of people just do a panel and solar panels and that reduces your your and your usage during the daytime um, dramatically and most people are up during the day that's when you're cooking and you're cleaning and you're vacuuming and you know your heat pumps running when you're not even at home and um, all of that stuff so that alone makes a huge difference in your power bill the batteries are a backup so if the grid goes down you've got a little bit of power so you've got enough time to say hey you know my, your phone alerts you the grid just went down well I've got about three hours now I'd say most people are probably gonna have more like six hours or maybe even nine hours before they're gonna run out of power but I use so much power in my house you know I'm only gonna have three hours about an hour per battery so when my phone alerts me well now I know I don't want to cook on the on the range that's a, a 220 volt appliance that pulls a whole lot of power so if I haven't had supper yet I'm not gonna fire up the stove to cook I'm gonna do something simple you know um, maybe just snack for the night or something like that so that's gonna extend my battery time um, I may turn my heat pumps off and say hey I can I can survive for a while without my heat pumps so if they never cut on well that's going to give me another probably hour out of my batteries um, turn all the lights and the TVs and the computers and stuff off that you're not using you know I give you another 30 minutes or whatever so I mean just because it says three hours that's the that's using max power that I use that doesn't mean that's all it is there's stuff you can do to change that in an emergency situation to get that to extend out you can also put soft starts on your heat pumps so they don't pull as much power when they start they start softer um, it charges over time and then fires it when it's time to fire so it doesn't pull so hard on your batteries makes your batteries last longer allows the solar panels to do more for you when it comes to starting your heat pumps instead of you having to pull from the grid for it uh, this panel right here is also supposed to allow me if you look right here so this is your load, and this is your grid, and this is your generator. So this is sp supposed to allow me to attach a whole home generator to it as well. And I just so happen to have one. Um, but you could buy a cheap generator, uh, a gas powered, I say cheap. You know, buy a $1,000 generator or a $600 generator that you can run into this panel and give you power at night and now you're extending those batteries you know uh, if you go to bed and say you're not running heat pumps and you're not running any lights or anything so your power usage in the house is minimal then that generator would be charging your batteries back up during the night so there's there's all kinds of different things you can do and different ways you can run it this panel right here is supposed to run all that stuff for you <clears throat> so again grid that's going to be the electrical grid generator is your generator uh, battery breaker this is to your batteries and then your load is going to be your load going out uh, into your house how much power you're pulling what load that power is um, so this really gives you a whole lot of options you can you can watch it on the panel here you can connect it to a computer or TV upstairs or you can even connect it to your cell phone um, my biggest thing is I'd like to charge my cell phones and uh, stay comfortable at night. You know, if power goes out, I'll turn everything else off, just let the heat pumps run. And during the winter, uh, my outside stove normally handles it, and that just runs two electric pumps to circulate through my house. Way less energy consumption uh, compared to 
actually running the heat pump so winter time is not that big of a deal for me those batteries would probably get me through the night um, summertime now I don't like to get hot so I would have to fire up my generator to give it a little bit of extra you know battery or a little extra power at night to go along with the batteries to make it through the night daytime hopefully the uh, solar panels will handle most of everything I need to do. So food for thought, I told you this is something I was going to add on and do and uh, and put out on the channel. So I'll run the quote to y'all and let y'all see the quote when, when they get it back to me because I told them, you know, at the $10,700 price that they gave me, um, I don't want those panels. So subtract those panels and go with these panels because it's cheaper and I can get more wattage and you know um, the 10 gauge wire you know either y'all can supply the length that I need or I can go somewhere else and get it uh, local so um, and that and if I'm running 8,000 8, uh, watts I may need bigger than 10 gauge I may need 8 gauge wire something like that so but uh, just follow along with me, see what you think. As I said, you can you can pick up just this. You know, if you get rid of your panels, this is the more expensive batteries. We can go with the cheaper batteries. So seven thousand thirty-four dollars. Um, that comes with three batteries, the case, the panel no solar panels um, but if we upgrade to the better battery near 7646 so now you've got everything but the panels and you can buy the you can come over here and buy your panels where did I put it uh, you can come over here and buy your panels at a hundred and forty dollars a piece and add on one a paycheck one a month one every two months whatever you need to do until you get up to the max that that inverter will handle and then you can go back and pick up another inverter just the inverter thousand five hundred dollars once you add another inverter now you can start adding more panels again until you get up to to what you need I personally am getting the batteries because I like the battery thing um, without the batteries if the grid goes down your solar quits producing because you don't have this box that says hey you know let me watch you know I get I get power from a generator from the grid and also from batteries so if the grid goes down it automatically flips and says the grid's down it will not let power go out on the grid and you can still input power from the generator or your batteries and you can still pull in you know from your solar panels um, without the batteries when the grid goes down you lose your solar panels until the power grid comes back up so you don't feed power out onto the grid and shock somebody that's working on the grid trying to get the power back up for everybody um, but but by adding the battery, your grid still works. So daytime, if I have a battery, my grid is still bringing power into my house during the day, and I have the batteries as backup. At nighttime, if I lose the power grid, I just have batteries, and they're not going to last very long, but it gives me something for a little while, and I can build it up to whatever size I need to build it up to or whatever size I want to build it up to. You don't... I mean, you don't need enough batteries to run your house for five days straight. You need enough batteries to get you through the night and enough solar panel to run your house and recharge your batteries during the day. That's all you really need. So every house is different. You have to do the kilowatt version conversions and all that other stuff. But uh, sorry, y'all, kind of a long video. But I, I wanted to get this out to y'all and, and let y'all see. Um... If 8,000, you know, one of these setups is all you need to run your house because you're only using 
say a thousand kilowatt hours a month then one of these setups is all you need and and you're done uh, if you're using 2,000 kilowatt hours instead of 1,000 then you probably need two of these complete setups if you're using 3,000 you probably need about three of these setups uh, complete setups at like ten thousand dollars or whatever to completely run your whole house but again you don't have to do it all at once if you have one setup <clears throat> go a couple months pick up another panel and the money you're saving by the, you know it may take you six months to get this money but you're saving that much in electric so you can buy another panel and then once you buy your next panel or inverter is actually what it is then that two hundred dollars a month you save allows you to buy a solar panel every month so every month your electric bill is going down a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until eventually you don't have a power bill anymore and there's other perks to this too um, and we'll get into that at a later date but right now I just kinda wanted to show you some of what was out here and uh, some of the setups and that kind of thing and I'll try to drop the link for this this uh, this right here uh, in the bottom uh, you can buy them smaller you can buy them bigger it just all depends on what you want to do and and how you want to do it um, some of these panels come with a lithium battery in them I don't necessarily like that for the fact that if that battery goes ba bad then you have to go into that panel to replace it instead of it sitting out here in its own nice little neat rack um, and that kind of thing so um, anyway hope this helps y'all hope everybody's doing good I know solar's not for everybody um, I really do not like the solar cars at all I don't believe in them uh, the the technology is not where it needs to be for that um, but we have this we can go with this and uh, you know at least you're reducing some of your power bill and uh, you know you got 10 years before you need to worry about replacing the battery the technology ought to be there by now to for for you know redoing the batteries and, and recycling those so